the best of our claps and thank him. Tell your neighbor, I am ready. I am ready. Or you better tell your friend, the biggest miracle belongs to me in this meeting. Let that person shout hallelujah. Tell your friend, did you hear my hallelujah? It's louder than your own. That means I got the biggest miracle. Do you agree with your friend? You better tell him, no way. Let someone shout hallelujah. You know, excitement in the presence of God releases his power and his grace on your life. When you rejoice, God's glory comes down. There's someone here in the next three months, minimum three weeks, by the grace of God, there will be a shout of celebration like this in your house. Let someone shout hallelujah! Glory to God. Give the Lord a big, big, big clap. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you so much for allowing us to be able to share God's word with you in the last three days. Uh, it's actually fourth day today. We started since Thursday night, and it's been wonderful. I'm so glad uh, my family, my beloved wife, and our kids, our children, they minister alongside with us, and uh, our entire ministry staff send you greetings. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good and all the times. And some of them are brethren in the UK are uh, calling. They didn't know I was here. And they were ringing Nigerian number. I saw their number yesterday. I said, let me not tell these guys because I know they, they'll be wondering, where are you now, sir? They, they're having a Father's Day service in one of our branches in the UK. We want to thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. Praise the Lord. Please tell your neighbor by your side, Happy Father's Day again. Father's Day. Amen. Let me give you some quick announcements. I feel they are very important. Number one, I wish I can give you this book. If you don't have it, get someone who has it and start using it. Praise the Lord. We'll make sure that the next one will be made available. Uh, it's coming out this next week, so you can get copies of it. We'll make sure that we get it shipped down here. Uh, you also need to get a copy of this. They will go a very long way off to strengthen your Christian lives. We, I wish we can get them free for you. But uh, they are not even much available again. I don't know if they are still available. If they are, they will be very, very few. Very, very few. So I encourage you, please get them. After a revival like this, it's very easy to cool off spiritually. But you need something that can fire you up again and again. And this comes handy. This, it strengthens you every day. It's very easy when we're in a meeting like this. Very easy to pray when everyone is praying. Very easy to rejoice. But when you're on your own and you face the battles of life, you need what you are going through to reenact it again. So I will encourage you to get some of our CDs, get some of the tapes of this meeting, and you can just keep on playing them, and you get the same anointing come back into your life. Praise the Lord. I remember um, 1996, I think, or 2006, I went for an occasion, a birthday of uh, a pastor friend's wife, and uh, a man met me there while I was sharing, and he said, I got one of your tape 10 years ago. That was 1996. We had these massive meetings, uh, an international conference. I usually minister every year and say, I got my, that, your CD or tape. And for 10 years, I've been playing it every day. I wasn't a strong Christian, but now I'm a minister of the gospel. I said, right on with it. Someone was telling me of a tape that he got one of our messages and he was telling me how the tape got worn out because he played it every day. He kept on playing it. And uh, I remember another person was giving me a testimony just recently 
that he was playing one of our tapes right here in the city of Providence many years ago. And uh, she said while she was playing the tape, the police pulled her over. And uh, she knew she made a mistake. But while the police bent down, had the message. He said, well, I can't arrest you. Just go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And uh, told me of another one. Then said, look, uh, this, in fact, this guy, I think, was a white guy and uh, was also driving, playing one of the message, and uh, was, got pulled over. That doesn't mean you should break rules in a way. <laughs> but got pulled over by the police. And uh, the policeman came near and had just one or two words. I haven't met the man. I was just told as I came this week. He said, the policeman you know, bent over and was talking to him. And suddenly stopped for about two or three minutes and told him, I need you to give me that tape. <laughs> <laughs> so the man said, well, yeah, I'm going to look for it and uh, get you, but you won't get this one that is my car. Praise the Lord. The faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more you hear, the more you become stronger. So I want to encourage you, get those tapes and uh, it will go a very long way off to bless you. Get uh, this, I was talking to a doctor friend yesterday. When we first published this many years ago, it was a little book. It wasn't in a div uh, continuous devotional form like this. It used to be a seven-day program. And uh, this man got a copy. The last time I saw him, the next time I saw him, he had wore it out. And he said to me, I don't leave my house every day without going through what is in this book. It's been amazing what the Lord has been doing in his life. Yesterday he was talking to me and he was talking about a business of about $14 million. I won't talk more than that. He said, it said, this little book have changed my life. So I wish I can give you free, but uh, go and get it. Praise the Lord. Someone is here today. Your financial breakthrough starts from today. The person who said that loudest, amen, may God bring it to pass for you. The last announcement I want to give is tonight. Tell your friends, say tonight. Please tell him again, or uh, tonight. Now, tell him, if you miss any day of this revival, don't miss tonight. Do everything. In fact, if they will carry you here, let them carry you. If you, if you have anyone that is sick in your home, bring them. If you have anyone that's going through a real serious problem, bring them. What I'm going to do this morning, we're just going to go through the word of God briefly. And uh, if the Lord leads us, we'll minister briefly. But tonight, ah, I desire that you do everything possible. I want you to join your faith with mine. That God will do the impossible in our lives. If you need a divine turnaround in your life, this night is your night. Amen. This night, God, I believe, will put upon every one of us a grace and anointing that will speak for you for the next several years of your life. Amen. So please prepare. Send a Facebook. Facebook your friend. Tweet your friend. Test your friend. Tell them to come. If you know anyone that is sick, anyone going through any problem, anyone going through any challenge, Anyone that is not going through anything but is, is standing still in life and he feels he needs to move to the next level, you need to come. Please, let's trust the Lord. Don't be selfish about this. One of the best things you can do is to share good things with others. When God is about to move, what you need to do is to you know, spread the news. I want to encourage you after the service, get home, eat. By 5 o'clock, start finding your way towards this place. Come before six. Amen? Come before six. And when you come uh, for about 30 minutes, people will just be praying. You'll just be praying by yourself. I want to ask you to come 30 minutes before the program, and we're just going to pray all around. You can pray as loud as you want. You can pray as silent as you want. Just get yourself in an atmosphere where God can reach you, where God can do the impossible in your life. Number two, when you are coming, get and a bottle of an olive oil. There's nothing magical about it. We're just following the scriptures. We're not going to do anything but just ask that the power of God will go into that bottle. 
And when you get home, you're going to anoint your house. You're going to give quick notice to debts. You're going to give quick notice to sicknesses. You're going to give quick notice to stagnation. You're going to give quick notice to frustration. And we're going to open your house for success, for blessings, for favor. That the kind of miracle and blessing that has never entered your house will begin to enter your house from now. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are believing God for your papers and your, your, your residency in this country, just come. Get something that is a point of contact. God is able to do what no man can do. And I believe the Lord will do it. If you are believing God for a job, don't worry. Just come. Hallelujah. I believe God that the month of July will be your month of jubilation. It will be your month of celebration in the name of Jesus. God is good. I say God is good. And all the time. I say God is good. And all the time. I've seen some little miracles in my life that have changed my life. I've seen some little miracles. I've seen some little miracles. And they have flabbergasted. Amen. Amen. I remember I was praying with someone and the Lord ministered to me, you're going to build an estate. And uh, we finished praying, they're building the second one now. <laughs> Listen, there are times when God will just move supernaturally. I believe that tonight is one of those periods. And that you should do everything I also want to tell you this last one. When you are coming tonight, you know you. If there is anyone in your family that you are that are going through any problem and you can't reach them, bring their photographs, bring pictures of your family. We're going to be praying over that. We're going to ask that the power of God will reach them wherever they are, and and break the hold of darkness over their lives. We've seen all kinds of things, all kinds. I mean, uh, yesterday I was sharing with Pastor Lagunju. Sorry, I wasn't here. I had to go and attend the wedding which I needed to minister. That breakthrough came uh, through uh, administration. And some of the governors from Nigeria were there. And some of the senators was quite a very large uh, uh, society weddings. And the young lady had been believing God for, for a long time to get married. And things were not just working. And while we were praying with the parents, the word just came. And that very day, the thing got broken. And today, beautiful. They were looking for a job. And we prayed and got a job. Uh, four months to the wedding, they were not sure of where they would put their luggage after the wedding. No house. And I told them, don't worry. And uh, the day I came, they were fighting over where to put the luggage because they got a big house. Someone is here today. You are the next in line for a miracle. If you are that person, jump and shout, hey man. Give the Lord a clap and jump and jubilate and rejoice. Make a joyful noise to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and give thanks. Just worship him. Just praise him. Where are the instrumentalists? Let's give thanks. Let's worship him. The musician. Let's give thanks. Let's praise him. Lord, you are worthy of praise. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are kind. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure it forever. Come on.
right away you had this body maybe it's possible you were crying just a few days ago or a few minutes ago you are weighed down by the troubles and the things you are going through it could be financial marriage it could be emotional it could be career wise but I'm saying this that I should ask you to come and as we're singing that song you will lift up your hands your two hands and hand over that problem to him and hand over that burdens to him leave your seat and come to the altar and as we are singing that song you are lifting up your hands and you say lord i hand it over to you i can't handle it but you can handle it i don't know what to do but you know what to do jesus break that chain from my life give me that there is power forever. Victory is coming. Breakthrough is on your way. This is your day of deliverance. Jesus is alive. I 
and he's ready to make a way for you where there is no way he's ready to do the impossible let's lift up their hands and sing it there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. 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 Singing, begin to tell the Lord exactly what is weighing you there now. Tell Him, I hand it over to you. Yes, Lord, I hand it over to you. Break that chain. Mention it to Him. Tell Him exactly what is it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell Him exactly what it is. Marriage, finance. Career, situation, circumstance, disease, infirmity. Mention it to him. Mention it to him. You have just one minute. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we hand it over to you today. We hand it over to you. Jesus, we hand it over to you. We're going to sing it for the remaining two more times. And as we are singing in the anointing of God, we come upon your life. His power is here. Yes, His glory is here. This is your day of deliverance. Yeah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain. Oh yes, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. I want every hands lifted up that are standing in front of the altar. I am going to pray a simple prayer, generally, and then that song will pick up again, and I'll lay hands as the Holy Spirit will lead me. I want you to believe when the hands are laid upon you, something is going to be transferred. The power of God will be transmitted and the yoke will be destroyed. Father, we thank you for your anointing that breaks every yoke. I pray right now, oh God, as all these hands are lifted unto you, you know our problems, our difficulties, our challenges. Father, I pray now, let the yoke be broken in Jesus' name. Let everybody be lifted in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the wicked one be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And let the anointing for total breakthrough, for total victory, fall right now. Receive miracles. Receive healing. Be healed in your mind. Be healed in your marriages. Be healed in your spirit. Be healed in your bones and marrow. Be healed from every infirmity. God makes a way for you. Where there is no way, let there be open doors. Receive your miracles in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. There is
break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There is power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I say there is power in the name. In the name of Jesus, take every chain, take every chain, take every chain. Break every chain, flow, break every chain, flow, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, there is power. In the name of Jesus, break every chain, to 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 break every chain, to
every day. To break every chain. To break every chain. I break every absence that cost. I break the cost. I break the cost. I break that cost. I break it in the name of Jesus. You are loose from it. You are healed. Set free. Jesus sets you free.
for this is the day of showers and rain upon your land there shall be no more dryness for I brought you out of the dry places and I'm taking you through the showers and as the shower come the harvest will follow That is it. The power of God is on you. You can feel it. It's on you. seeking me and as you wait it shall not tarry 
my unction will bring it to pass here in the Lord. clap off let's thank you in our life at this stage. Thank you, Father, for the release of those people. Three of them. Thank you, Father. Power of God, go in the name of Jesus. Bring forth that. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. The unction you need, the wisdom you need, the ideas and the resources, take it. Jesus, take it. Take, take it. For they will find the answer in your mouth and they will find what they are looking for through your mouth. They will find the answer and it will not be by your strength, but it will be by your, by the power of my spirit. I will speak the word. The ideas will flow through your mind. They will find the answer through you. They will find the answer. The answer will come. Thank you, Jesus. Three of them, two of them are white. One is a black person and they will come into your life in the next few months and you will have the answer and you will have the answer you will have the answer to the question thank you father father we thank you let's give god praise let's give thanks oh. lord thank you oh lord thank you i will say to you say the lord I will say to you, all you need to do is trust me and be faithful. If you be faithful, I will multiply even that in your heart. Oh, Jesus. Where's your wife? Lord, we remove every interest. We bind the forces of darkness. The sign from the pit of hell to hinder. We bind in the name of Jesus. Lord, we release your blessing. We release your grace. We ask that your power will take control. According to your desire, 
Let the anointing flow. trap they have set will never work. Amen. Those who who carry that evil sacrifice, every one of them, scatter them, Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. See me after this service. Father, thank you. Let's give God praise for the deliverance of what he has done. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory to God. Please go and hug seven people and tell them God is settling my case. You are coming for celebration in my house. You are coming for celebration in my house. Glory to God. Amen. Give somebody a hug. Tell them God is settling my case. So get ready to receive my invitation. Glory to God. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together. Let's give God praise. Let's thank him as you give the Lord a big, big, big. Make sure you hug somebody you have not hugged before. Give that person a, a good hug and tell them, I'm glad you're in church this morning. God is settling your case. Glory to God. Ma, 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 ma. Hallelujah. Both are bad dad, whatever. <laughs> God is good. And all the time. I say God is good. And all the time. I say God is good. I think we should just sing and worship him a little bit more. Woo, my mama. Get on the keyboard. Get on the drum. Let's make a joyful noise to God. I'm going to country. And you're going to shout hallelujah seven times and just dance. Now wait. Don't think I'm just only being excited. I'll tell you what I just heard. That as you are dancing today, you will come back to dance here. I don't think you understand that. You will come back to dance at this altar. 
Now, wait a minute. If you want a new car, you know how you're going to dance. You'll be dancing with your new car. <laughs> Hallelujah! Are you ready now? Somebody, one, two, three. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Forever, 
right now. Get back to that spot. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 You will remember that in this revival, the man of God said, get back to where you dance. And when you are going to give your testimony, you will say, I was dancing there. It was at that point. It was at that point. Let us pray. Father, I pray that every one of us as we have danced before you and we're still going to dance, dancing will never cease in our homes. That thing that you have rejoiced before the Lord for, in the next few weeks, let there be a manifestation. In the name of Jesus, if you are believing God for a baby, by this rejoicing before the Lord, the yoke of barrenness is broken in your life. If you need a car, receive a new car. If you can't pay your mortgage, receive now a breakthrough. In your finances, let that be turned around. After this, there will be a feast in your house. After this, there will be a celebration. Thank you, Father. We we'll give you all the praise. Now you will join me to shout again. We're going to shout seven hallelujah. And we're going to dance one more time. You see, I have my preaching note open. But that's not what God wants us to do. Tell your neighbor, say tonight. You better fly down here. <laughs> God is just telling us, it's my service. It's not your own. I have my notes. I have all the things I wanted to say. But it's not what I want to say that matters. What it says is what is defined. I speak to your life today that every covering that is covering your glory, I hereby eliminated in Jesus' name. From today, your glory will shine. In the city of Portoquet and Providence and Rhode Island State, you will shine. And Lord, I pray for a sister who is traveling to Philadelphia. God will go ahead of you. From this revival, Lord, I pray that your people that are here today and those that will join together with us tonight, in the next six months, you will be a surprise to your environment. You will be a surprise to your environment. Good things will overtake you. You will forget your tears. Where you have cried, you will rejoice. Where you have been put to shame, you will have glory. Where they have told you there is no way there will be a door open. Go and possess your possession. Thank you, Father. Let somebody for seven times, let's go. One, two, three. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise Him every day. Praise, praise Him every day. day. Everybody praise the Lord now. Praise, praise, him, Lord Lord now. praise him every day. I will praise Him every day. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise Him every day. I will praise Him every day. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise Him every day. Everybody praise the Lord now. Every day. Every day. You? Every day. you know what I will do? I have a seed in my hand. When things happen like this, take a seed and Amen. plant it. Amen. Are you hearing me? Do 
Judah, let's rejoice. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. I will praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. And I will praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. Oh, just sister, praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day. And I will praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. Oh, 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 As you go home this afternoon, your phones from tomorrow morning will begin to ring of good news. Good news of good jobs. Good news of breakthroughs. Good news that will make people to rejoice with you. Please put your right hand upon your head. Whatever your head does not carry as a blessing, in the last six years, I pray for every one of us. From now, may that blessing be released upon your life. Where there is no blessing, there is no struggle. Where there is no blessing, where there is a blessing, there is no struggle. Where the blessings of the Lord is, there is no struggle. And I decree today that by this service, Every struggle in your life is over in the name of Jesus. That which you cannot do, that you have struggled for and struggled with in the last six years of your life, in this month of June, the sixth month, let that struggle be terminated from your life. The Lord turn your sorrow to joy. Your head when it appears, let men and women favor you. Amen. Wherever your head appear, wherever people see your face, may your enemies decide to become your friends. Amen. Every interview that you go to attend, when the jury and the panel that you sat before or stand before, when they see you, let them be forced to favor you. Disappointment is over in your life. Amen. Rejections is over in your life. Amen. You will not be rejected. You will be accepted. Amen. You will not be disappointed. You will be divinely appointed. Amen. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. May he bless you. Amen. May he prosper you. Amen. May he give you peace. Hear this. Whatever is a stone that has covered your glory, that stone is rolling away today. May the Lord give you access. Access to blessing. Access to favor. That after this 
night anointing service. When you step out tomorrow, you begin to step into favor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And if you're here this morning, you have not yet surrendered your life to Christ. As we all place our right hand upon our head, just before I close this prayer and go to sit down, and this service will be over. The Bible says, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? God have just moved among us to tell us he loved us. To tell us that he is a loving God. He loves you so much he doesn't want you to die and go to hell. And if you are here today and you have not had that personal relationship with God, all you need to do is just raise your right hand I'm going to pray with you. That God will give you that personal relationship that Jesus will come into your life. If you are here today and you know in your, life, in your heart there are things you do God does not like. You know you live in sin. One way or the other, you know you have not surrendered your life to Christ. He loves you so much. And all he's saying is his hands are open at Calvary. And he's saying to you, I love you. I died for you. All you need to do is to receive me into your life. If you're raising up your right hand, place it on your heart. Place it where you can feel your heart and say with me, Oh God, I come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I am sorry for all my sins. Please forgive me. Jesus, wash me in your blood. Make me a child of God. Give me power to follow you. Oh God, I surrender my life to you today. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you. Thank you. Heaven is now my home. Satan, get out in my, from my life. From this day forward, I don't belong to you anymore. I belong to Jesus. Thank you, God, for saving me. As that keyboard has just been played, if you pray that prayer and you know from the depth of your heart you mean it, just come and kneel down at this altar and I'm just going to speak a word over your life that that blessing will be permanent. You're saying, Jesus, today, the 15th day, on a Father's Day, I make you the Father of my life, the Lord of my soul. If there's anyone that have prayed that prayer and you really mean it, you are saying, God, I turn away from my sin and I'm going to serve you all the days of my life. God bless you. Oh, what a great joy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't try to say, the devil will tell you and say, don't go out. But you see, when you stand out for God, God stands with you. That's what you've done. Father, thank you for this, your children. I pray, Lord, that your grace that have brought them to salvation, that grace will preserve them forever in the name of Jesus. None of you will go back to the world. I mark you with the blood of Jesus. You will become a living wonder. Many of you will become great men and women. You will serve the Lord. You will impact your generation. You will do the will of God. Lord, you will bless this, your children. Your grace will be upon their lives. Out of you will come great politicians. Out of you will come great pastors. Out of you will come great businessmen and women that will bless this world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody say a big amen. Now, I want you to do something. When you receive a blessing, you share with someone. Reach out to somebody by your side. Reach out to some, that person. And you're just going to spend one minute and bless that person. And say to him or her, can you say to him or her, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessings of God into your life. I pray the blessings of God upon your life. That after this revival, you and I will testify to the glory of God. Go ahead and pray for that person. Pray for his family. Pray for his, his wife, his children. Pray that God's hand will be upon him. Pray that God will bless him. Pray for one another. Pray for one another. Glory to God. Glory to God.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, do it more. Pray for his wife. Pray for his children. Pray for his business. Pray that God will bless him. Pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon his life. Oh, thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I decree and declare that that which you have prayed for your friend shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Come on, somebody give the Lord a shout and a praise in the house. Glory to God. Give the Lord a big, big hand. You can go back. Keep on clapping. Keep on clapping. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody say the Lord is good. Let somebody say the Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. You may be safe for a moment. Give God a clap of hands. You are sitting down. Tell somebody what God has done in my life today. Is permanent. In Jesus name. Praise Jehovah. You know, you see, when a church is revived, because it's a revival, is that not so? They don't look at the time. They don't look at the program. They move by the move of the Holy Spirit. A revived church goes by the ordinance of the Holy Spirit, not the program of man. What we have seen today is the beginning of greater and mighty to happen in this church in Jesus' name. That people will be able to, I mean, to relax in the presence of their God. Are you here with me? That people will no longer be looking at the time for the pastor. Are you here with me? I'm telling you, things are bound to change. I said, if you keep on doing what you were doing before, you keep on getting what you were getting before. Are you here with me? I told you yesterday, when the supernatural touches the natural, or natural things happen, or natural things have happened in our life tonight, today, and more is to come tonight. I won't miss out of it. And I want to tell you people of God, many of you know the way I operate. Please, that thing is vibrating, please. I come early to church. You know that before. Tonight, I'm going to come even much earlier. To open the door so that none of you will have any excuse. People know, like, I mean, you know. You know yourself. I'm coming much earlier today. I've not seen my family today. I'm sitting there for the first time in the church. So the father's, uh, happy father's day I said to me was in the church. Because I left my house at about four or so. Just to come and prepare this church for. Tonight, I am coming much more earlier. I'm going to get this door open. If you want me to open this one, this one I will open the three. <laughs> uh -huh, the windows. So come on time, people of God. You are truly a blessing. And I prayed after this revival. When everything's all said and done, personal revival that we are, you know, clamoring for is our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. That none of us shall remain the same any longer in, this, in Jesus' name. That the evidence of revival will be seen in our life. The evidence of the total breakthrough that God has deposited in our life will be, will be seen in Jesus' name. Unmistakably in Jesus' name. So, and I'm encouraging you, you walk with the wave that God has created. That will no longer go back to what we are doing before in terms of lukewarmness, lateness, all those things. No, we have been revived. Say, I've been revived. God has given a measure of revival. That's what I want us to walk with that way. Praise God. And I'm so excited. You, you, you can't believe how excited I am. You know, one of my sisters, <laughs> Adama, Adama Sati, right? I cannot forget your name. I've not seen this, my sister, this year. And I want a day for her to come. As I was going back, I saw I said, what a miracle. What a miracle. For, I don't know when last week she came to church. But she can testify. I never gave up on her. I will test her. She will respond. I don't care. I, I mean, I'm saying it so that she can hear that. When I tell you guys, when I test you, it's because I'm going to account for your soul one day. I am going to account for it. I asked God one day, I said, why have you given me this kind of honorous responsibility? When I was practicing my medicine, 
I didn't have to bother her. If you don't do something, I fire you. I really don't care. She can testify. The king of where I was working called me to plead on behalf of one guy I was going to fire in Nigeria. But when I come to go, I can't fire nobody. I will ask God, why? Why? Touch their heart. Please. They heart, the king of the heart is the Lord's heart. Please. Sister Adama, you have revived our revival. <laughs> By your attendance. Hallelujah. And she did not even come by herself. She brought her friends. My brother, I don't have your name here, and my sister, the husband and wife, right? Praise God. She brought them, and they brought their children. May the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. May God plant you a seed of righteousness in this ministry in Jesus' name. May God cause you to grow as the vine, and as the, as the vine in Jesus' name. May you be revived like the grain in Jesus' name. May your sin be like the scent of the wine of Lebanon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless all of you real good. Praise God. Praise God. You see, we still have uh, uh, how many minutes? But I'm going to, we are going to go before, before 12.30. Because some people are saying, ah, we are coming back tonight. I know. Uh, no. Yes, so. Oh, God, come you can use it. <laughs> Praise Jehovah. The Lord is, hey, we are still going to do what we normally do. You know? We are still going to maintain this sanctuary of God. And those of us who came later, we didn't come late, we came later. Right? Some of us didn't have the opportunity to give our tithe and offering. And the next item there is missionary and building fund. Hallelujah. You can't out give God. So they are silent on me now. <laughs> I say you can't out give God. God is a giver. Is he, is he not? He gave us the utmost in Christ. Bible said, thanks be unto God for his indescribable gift. You cannot describe the gift of God in your life. So we are going to do what we normally do. Are you here with me? A missionary and building fund. So we are going to dance once again. Ah, you have taught, you have shown me something today. Hey, I'm going to be leave Holy Spirit one day. We're going to come from morning to evening. We go dance, dance, dance. I go down, I go down, I go shout. Huh? Praise God. I'm not going to tell you this, so those are called guess me. So we're going to bring our mission out. Uh, uh, and those of us who have not paid our tithe, please bring your tithe. Hallelujah. Without any equivocation, the God of miracle is our Father, is our provider, is our sustainer, is our preserver, is our protector. Father, we just bless you this day. The Bible says God also bearing witness with miracle signs and wonders. Father, we have confessed, we have sung that song that you are our Father. Lord Jehovah, we pray that even this day, you will bear witness and, and, and bear testimony in our lives, individually, and corporately in this church with miracles and wonders and the gift of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. That Father, in blessing, you keep on blessing us 
In multiplying, you keep on multiplying us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for everyone who has um, contributed to this building and missionary fund. Father, build them yourself for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I pray that the beauty of the Lord God will rest on each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Multiply this offering, Lord, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Let it be used for the advancement of our kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. I to put it there, but I will charge it. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you do have your money, you know, we have given, given, given you no more money in the pocket. But I still have credit card. I still have my bank card. So wisdom brings us as because um, um, I want to say something. Reverend, um, I think this is only left over here. Because what I did quickly, because I gave the people the opportunity to buy the books. What I did, I went behind, I bought the remainder. I bought the one, this one especially. So it's out of stock. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if I were you, oh, sorry. Please, I mean, if I were you, please quickly go and get this. If you, if you don't get it quickly, if I check, if I go there, I will pack everything. You better go buy it. You see, the burger we eat, the pizza we eat, food for belly, belly for food. They all go to... So please, these ones are for sale too, right? Who wants to pick this one real quick? Who wants, who wants, who wants? Oh, yeah, 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 come, come, come. I take it. No, no. Okay, wait, wait. Ah! Okay, don't worry. Wow. Okay, where is the money? The money, okay. That is, uh, that is $8. That is uh, $5, right? Five, right? If somebody told, Hallelujah! If somebody told me, if I had so much energy, <laughs> ah, now wow, it's amazing. When the Bible said the joy of the Lord shall be your strength, when God said be strong in the Lord and the power of His might, ah, God is good. Are you having some fun? Are you having fun? Tonight is going to be greater. Tonight is going to be more powerful. It's going to be more glorious. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, let us rise up so that we do the benediction. So that we can go on, on time. Please go eat, rest, relax. But do God a favor. You know the favor you're going to do your God tonight? Honor God tonight by doing exactly what the Reverend told you. Remind everybody in your phone list. You know... How many people have seen my test for all the four days? How many people? Did you know people go, if I can, if I can painstakingly do that, you can do it too. I had to stand in for the man of God yesterday, but that didn't even prevent me from still testing everybody. Please. I gave a flask to pizza maker. I do, I do what I have to do for my God. Do what you have to do for your God. Don't let us be selfish tonight. Invite at least three people, at least. Not only inviting them, bring them, carry them, cut them, airplane, whatever you can do, bring them here. Ensure they are here tonight. Because the end of a matter, Bible says it's better than the beginning. Are you here with me? Please, be here yourself. The Bible said in the of one city, we said to another, let us go and seek the face of God. He said, I myself will go also. Don't invite people and you stay at home. Tell somebody I'm going to be here tonight. From around 4 30, I will be here. Pastor, open the door. Aha, 4 30. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory. I say, Father, we give you glory. May the Lord bless and keep you. I say, May the Lord bless and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us. And make all grace abound to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. May the Lord give us increase more and more and grant us prosperity and divine abundance in every facet of our lives. God, our own God, I say God, our own God, will keep on blessing us. He will keep on multiplying us. Our little shall become more than a thousand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord God Almighty bless us and all, all the ends of the earth know it in Jesus' name. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let us share the grace. Hold somebody's hand and look at that person's face. Smile at that person. And uh, share the grace with that person. Let us go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will be dwelling in the house of the Lord forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, for what God has done this morning in our midst,